The operator over the dam is the Fukushima nuclear power plant. The operator over the dam is the Fukushima nuclear power plant is reporting a sharp rise in the concentration of radioactive material in the sea near the number three reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it detected levels of cesium 134 at 110 becquerels per cubic centimeter in seawater samples taken on Wednesday morning. That is 1,800 times the national legal limit and more than three times higher than the level reported the previous day. No! Hold it! She should never mind. Shit! The utility also found cesium 137 at 1,300 times the limit. Last Wednesday at the same location near the water intake of the number three reactor, highly contaminated water was found flowing into the sea from a pit. TEPCO says it, det it detected cesium-134 at 32,000 times the legal limit. In its latest announcement, TEPCO said the concentration of radioactive iodine in seawater samples near the number two reactor fell from 1,900 times the limit on Monday to 630 times the following day. I even went so far as to falsify the report. The utility also said radioactivity is high at two of the four survey points along the shoreline near the plant. He says cesium-134 at 1.8 times the limit was found at a point 330 meters south of the water drainage gates of the number one to four reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company is likely to start operating a new system within two weeks to cool spent fuel in reactor number two. Another bullshit experiment. TEPCO says it's preparing to install cooling systems in four of the six reactor buildings three months earlier than initially planned. The company says it's laying power cables for a cooling system for number two reactor's spent fuel pool. A heat exchanger will be brought into the facility early next week to start operating the cooling system by the end of this month. Workers entered the number two reactor building on Wednesday for the first time since a hydrogen explosion on March 15th. They tried to check radiation levels but pulled out after 14 minutes because the building was filled with steam, making further work impossible. We never practiced that one, do we? Panicking. We never practice panicking. We... The utility says the vapor appears to be coming from the damaged suppression chamber as well as from the fuel pool itself. Number two reactor building's roof is intact, making it more prone to filling with steam. The truth! Paramount Pictures presents The Freak. This movie won't just scare you, it will fuck you up for life. I believe that cooling the spent fuel pool will help reduce steam inside the reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company is sticking to its plan to bring the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control by next January. But the company may face further unexpected problems. Jaguar, for men who like hand jobs from beautiful women that you hardly know. That's not a lie, Steve. Let's level with America. On Tuesday, TEPCO announced a new timeline which reflects the problems that have emerged since it revealed the original roadmap one month earlier. It says it will keep to its schedule of stabilizing the plant sometime between October and January. TEPCO Vice President Sakai Muto told reporters that on the whole, the work is progressing as expected, although some tasks are taking longer than planned. But many unexpected problems have occurred since TEPCO released the original plan in April. A large quantity of water was found in the basement of the number one reactor building. Highly radioactive water was found to be leaking into the ocean from the number three reactor. Workers have not been able to enter the buildings of the number two and three reactors, making it impossible to restore their cooling functions. TEPCO may also face an increase in the amount of radioactive water, highly radioactive work environments, and the possible effects of the rainy season and aftershocks. Shit! Shit, 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 shit! TEPCO's new plan for stabilizing the Fukushima plant will focus on creating a system to decontaminate water and circulate it back into the reactors to cool them down. You have nothing to worry about. It's a clean bill of health. You sure? Well, I'm not in the habit of making mistakes. The revised plan was drawn up after the discovery that the fuel rods in the number one reactor had melted. 
The melting apparently damaged the vessel containing the reactor, and a large amount of water has leaked out. The utility has effectively abandoned its initial plan to cool the reactor by filling it with water and says it will instead install an alternative cooling system. But lately it's been like waiting for a biopsy report, benign or malignant. The system would collect the highly contaminated water in one place, reduce the amount of radioactive materials, then return it to the reactor as a coolant. TEPCO says it's preparing to set up a facility at the Fukushima compound to treat the contaminated water and plans to start operating it next month. The company says it will also apply the circulation system to the number two and number three reactors where meltdowns may also have occurred. TEPCO hopes to stabilize these by the end of July. A radioactive substance exceeding the legal limit has been found in a farm in the prefecture bordering Fukushima, home to the crippled nuclear plant. <laughs> 1,530 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram were detected in a sample collected last Wednesday from a farm in the town of Marumori, Miyagi Prefecture. That's five times the legal limit of 300 becquerels. 350 becquerels of cesium were also detected in a sample from a prefectural farm in the northern city of Osaki. Miyagi's prefectural government has asked about 6,000 livestock farmers to keep livestock off grazing land and avoid feeding them pasture grass. It's the first time that radioactivity exceeding the legal limit has been found in grass or vegetables in the prefecture. But the sample from Marumori showed radioactive iodine below legal limits. And well, technically, Nancy, ref can't call a foul. Shane was kicked by his own teammates. And no iodine was detected in Osaki. A fisheries cooperative in Ibaragi Prefecture has demanded more than $5 million in the damages from the operator of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. On Wednesday, delegates from the fisheries cooperative visited uh, TEPCO's headquarters in Tokyo and handed its officials documents supporting their claim. They demanded $5.2 million, which they say equals losses incurred in March from the nuclear accident. The cooperative was forced to suspend all fishing at that time after small fish caught off Ibaraki were found to contain radioactive substances exceeding the legal limit. The vice president of the fisheries cooperative, Isao Ono, told reporters he hopes the power company compensates them quickly. We will also ask for further compensation because of the unfounded rumors later. We will examine the contents of the demand quickly and make a provisional payment this month. Well, similar compensation claims have been made by agricultural cooperatives, but the latest is first by a fisheries cooperative. Small and mid-sized businesses in Japan that have been affected by the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi are getting frustrated. They are demanding Tokyo Electric Power Company pay temporary compensation right away. Representatives of the Central Federation of Societies of Commerce and Industry met TEPCO President Masataka Shimizu on Wednesday in Tokyo. They said smaller companies around the nuclear power plant have not been able to keep their businesses going, since so, so they are facing serious losses. Calm before the storm. Although there are shops and homes around the plant, people cannot go there. We demand temporary compensation immediately. Our company will faithfully handle compensation after consulting with the organization's concern. That the love of money is the root of all evil. Following the meeting, Shotaro Tago said smaller firms near Fukushima Daiichi have made no sales since the March 11th disaster. I have to be very quiet. He's a very light sleeper. I wish I could come out and talk to you, darling, but it's impossible. You've seen. I have to tell you, Julia, I'm getting increasingly concerned for my future. I don't know how this will end. All I know, in a fortnight's time, I'll be waking up with a bald head and a bit of a grin. How do you feel, Mr. Bagley? Much better, thank you, Doctor. But one thing I'm not, darling, is insane. I'm 100% normal. When I came in here, it was my intention to make a film. 
I wanted to tell the world about advertising. It's not finished, of course. It's difficult to concentrate with a shanker yakking on your neck. 